KP classes dedicated to excellence. Hello everyone, Rights has recently released an official notification for the requirement of various posts among which there are openings for architects also. There are a total number of three posts for which Rights is going to require the designation is Engineer Architect. So I hope you know Rights is a public sector enterprise which comes under Ministry of Railways. So it is going to be a very good opportunity for the students who are from architecture background. And in this video, I will take you through the details of the uh, the requirement the basic uh, uh, requirement which you should fulfill to apply for this post and also what is the process of selection for this particular uh, post by rights so let me uh, uh, first take you through an overview what is the uh, brief which we are going to go through in this particular video so uh, if you are planning to apply for this post or if you are planning to uh, get into this particular job this video is going to be a very important one which would be the first step basically to uh, take towards the preparation of this particular post uh, so it will give you a full information as far as the eligibility criteria firstly we will then look into the important dates for this particular posts we will also look into the selection process what is the mode of selection what are the criteria and what is the percentage for each of those criteria and finally we will also look into the preparation strategy how should you prepare for this particular post so let me take you to the first point uh, the, uh, right away that is the eligibility criteria as per the official notification of uh, which has been published on the website of rights there are total of three openings i already told you uh, for the post of architect uh, uh, and the uh, minimum qualifications of the, the de designation as I told you it is engineer architecture and uh, the pay scale is from 40,000 to 1 lakh 40,000 that's the uh, pay scale uh, and it is mentioned in the official notification that at the minimum pay scale that is pay scale of 40,000 corresponds to a CTC of 13.6 lakhs per annum as per the official notification so that would be the starting salary for this particular post uh, so as far as qualification the minimum requirement uh, which you should fulfill to apply for this post it is mentioned as full times bachelor degree in architecture uh, now uh, for the other posts on the same notification for the other posts wherever there's a requirement for masters as well they have mentioned and bachelors and masters here if you look into the tab of the minimum qualification it is just mentioned bachelors degree in architecture or master's degree in architecture planning and urban design as from our understanding we feel even if you are uh, only with a, a student with bachelor's degree in architecture and if you qualify the minimum post qualification experience you need to have two years of experience that too in the field of architectural design as per the notification so if you have two years experience with your bachelor's degree you should fulfill the criteria of this particular post uh, and a master's degree as such might not be mandatory however if you want if you are confused with respect to it we would would strongly recommend you to write on the they have provided for any clarification you require an email id has been provided on the official notification you can drop a message over there to get clarity but as per the notification because and has not been mentioned like in the other posts it is uh, it can be assumed that only bachelor's degree in architecture with two years of post qualification experience should make you eligible to apply for this post that's about the minimum criteria or the eligibility criteria for this post make sure you meet the two year uh, architectural design you need to have two year experience in the field of architectural design make sure you meet that criteria before you apply for the post uh, further details as far as the important dates are considered the portal for application is already live so you can start apply so the by the time you are watching this video probably the uh, the portal must already have been live the last date for application is 15th of July 2023 make sure you don't wait till the last date right away start applying if you are interested for this particular post as far as the dates for the interview and the test is considered no such details have been given in the preliminary notification yet uh, once we get any uh, update official update regarding the same we will post it on all our social media handles so make sure you stay connected with us at KP gate classes all the links for the social media handles including Facebook Instagram WhatsApp groups all the links will be available in the description of the video and stay connected on the YouTube platform as well we, we put regular updates uh, for the students uh, who are aspiring for the uh, for the government jobs and also gate examination in the field of architecture and planning uh, so do stay connected with us on our social media handles so uh, that's about the date so the last date for application is 15 June 15th July and the exam date should be uh, around say uh, November or before November however 
no such details are given in the notification so we should be waiting for the official notification regarding the final exam date the most important point is the procedure for selection what is the process which they are going to follow for the selection of uh, the three architects which they are recruiting so the criteria there are three uh, steps or three criteria 5% weightage is being given for the work experience uh, so basically it would be uh, how many years of experience are you having or what type of experience is that experience relevant to the post you are applying so that will be carrying a weightage of 5% uh, and the maximum weightage the maximum weightage would be step 1 which is basically a written test experience is not something which you can work on at this point of time once the notification is out whatever experience you have accumulated till now that's what you have there's nothing to change in it but you still have time to work on this step that is written test which has a majority of the weightage that is 60 percent of the weightage for the selection so if you're performing very well in the written test interview comes secondary after because see the weightage of interview is not even is around 50 percent of that of uh, the written test so performing well in the written test is very important is going to be very important for your selection in this particular examination so written ex written test will carry a weightage of 60 percent the details of this examination the syllabus the structure we will discuss all those details also everything has been given has been published by the within the notification of rights uh, so the interview will carry a weightage of 35 percent and they have also cleared what are the criteria they, they are going to work on or they're going to look for these th this 35 percent weightage for the interview is divided into two parts 25 percent will be for your technical and professional proficiency basically your understanding and knowledge in the field of architecture that will carry a weightage of 25 percent so if you're qualifying so it's like first stage is the uh, return test if you qualify the return test you will be eligible for the interview when you go for the interview they are going to mainly test your understanding on the basic concepts related to the field of architecture that's what they're going to test you on and 10 percent would be on your com uh, communication and competency so how well are you expressing your uh, ideas or your understanding for the how are you responding to the questions which they are going to ask you so that's what the interview is about so that's about the selection procedure five percent for the experience 60 percent maximum weightage for the written test which is the preliminary stage and finally 35 percent for the interview that's about the criteria the selection procedure which they are going to follow uh, so if you uh, meet the eligibility criteria we would strongly recommend you to try it, it, it if you are giving your 100 percent you can easily don't think that there are only three openings three openings is a good number of openings because when isro uh, selects architects they generally uh, have openings of one or two and there have been a past students who already cleared isro and are into isro also within those one or two posts so everything is possible it's only that you need to have a proper idea or strategy for your selection into that examination with a good understanding of the basics so that's what uh, uh, is important in the selection for the examination so that's about the selection procedure moving further uh, the syllabus for the examination so in the official notification they have also released the syllabus for the post of architect so there are a total of eight sections but before i take you through the syllabus of the exam let me take you through the exam pattern first it is going to be a two and a half hour long examination two or 30 minutes and in that two and a half hours you need to answer a total of 125 questions so it is an exam where uh, time is going to be a very important factor within those say uh, 150 minutes or two and a half hours you should be answering 125 questions you will not have a lot of time to work on each and every question questions will be simple questions will be theoretical based but time is going to be an important factor when can you do well in such examinations if you have sufficient practice if you have sufficient confidence on the topics given in the official syllabus so that's where official syllabus is going to be very important uh, because we do not have any recent papers of this particular post for reference we should be following the official pattern of the syllabus and also similar examination so considering these inputs you should work on your self-study part for this examination so that's about the pattern also to add to that there is no negative marking in this examination so for those students who tend to have this problem with respect to negative there are some students who always worry about negative marking they do not do well in those exams with negative marking for them this is going to be a good news that there's no negative marking if you have an incorrect attempt in this examination as far 
as this syllabus is considered, there are a total of eight sections as per the official syllabus. And in each section, they have elaborately given the uh, the content on which they are going to test you in the examination. Uh, so it's it's uh, the first section is building. It covers everything with respect to the field of architecture. Basically, it's an architect's post. So the syllabus also is architecture based syllabus. Building construction, which includes the topic of brick and stone masonry, details of building components like staircase, like roof systems, timber roof trusses and also doors and windows. So that's what is going to be tested under building construction as per the official syllabus. Surveying and estimation will include the topics of surveying and leveling, which also includes the various types of surveys, various types of leveling, uh, various equipment used in survey and also contours. So that's con covered under section two and also estimation part. Then you have the third section, which is building materials, which includes the topics of various construction material, including brick, stone, timber, uh, cement, glass, paint, all these have been given in the official syllabus of the rights examination. So fourth section is going to be building services which covers the topics like sewerage, solid, uh, solid waste management, sewage treatment, fire safety, vertical transport which includes elevators and escalators. That content is covered under building uh, services. Then you have section 5 architectural design which covers the basics of architecture about spatial planning and all. Then you have the sixth section which is uh, history of architecture which includes the various civilizations and the evolution of architecture across historical phases. Then you also have the subject of climatology which includes climate responsive design and also uh, so basically how to design buildings in various types of climate, understanding of solar architecture, sun path and sunlight. So that's also given uh, orientation and further details. So that's about climatology. Then you finally have the section of professional practice which includes various uh, code code of practice also standards uh, work ethics these are covered under professional practice so these are the eight sections as per the official syllabus which will be covered in the 125 questions of the examination the exam date is not yet out so you still have time but don't wait till the time where the date is being announced you should start your preparation right away because it is always advisable to have the maximum available time for your preparation. Spread your preparation rather than concentrating it on few days. You need to spread it on a larger duration of time that will give you time to assimilate things and store in your brain for a longer, retain the information for a in a better manner for a longer period of time. So start preparing right away with a proper plan and the understanding of the exam syllabus. I hope this video will help you by giving you these basic details of the eligibility criteria and examination pattern and all. So moving further, let us uh, look into the class plan which we are going to. So we at KPK classes also, if you are interested in this particular post, you can enroll into our coaching program. So we have a dedicated coaching program going on, which is foundation course, which has already begun. So foundation course which we run at KPG classes will be a one-year program where we cover all the basic topics required for the government requirement tests of architecture and planning based uh, posts. So our foundation, so the thing, if you look at the official syllabus, whatever is given in the syllabus that already has been incorporated into the structure which for, which we follow for the foundation course. So uh, the class plan, we we have divided the syllabus we uh, into sections. So our uh, structure which we are going to follow will encompass most of the topics. Now we will let you know the faculty once you enroll into the classes, we'll let you know what are those things where you also need to work from your end for self-study which are not being dealt with in the class as such resources relevant resources will be shared with you and will let you know about what is it where you need to work from your end so the complete guidance will be provided based on the exam date so we also will strategize the uh, coaching plan based on the exam date once it's out however you can enroll into the classes where we learn all the concepts which are a part of the syllabus including history of architecture building construction materials and also building services and climatology if you are aware there is also there are already openings in delhi development authority for which the uh, coaching program is already running. So there's a huge overlap with that syllabus. So you can enroll into the classes, which is foundation course, which will cover the complete syllabus of Delhi Development Authority Architectural Assistant and also rights examination engineer architecture uh, post. So it will help you for this examination as well. So what would be the strategy for your, uh, what would be the plan for the coaching program of ours? We start, we have a four step approach. We start with the live online classes. Uh, so you will be attending all the subjects where there will be a live class where the faculty including me I will be de dealing with a lot of topics of architecture there are other faculty team who are all qualified from IITs they will be guiding you through the uh, live online classes firstly 
all the lectures will be available with a recorded backup if you happen to miss some lecture due to some personal engagement you will still have a recorded backup of that lecture on your mobile app you can access the recorded backup for till the validity of the course so the foundation course will be valid probably till the next july so, uh, next june or july whenever you uh, so uh, if you are enrolling into the foundation program you will have access of all these recorded classes till the date of the exam where you when you are going to write the exam you also have the test series which includes various mocks so we will we uh, have developed a series of sectional tests for each and every topic you have practiced tests dedicatedly if you are preparing for rights you will also have access to the mock tests which will be in the pattern of the actual rights examination with zero negative marking two and a half hours with 125 questions so if you are uh, applying for the rights examination you can make use of these uh, mock tests which will be a part of your test series and you also have a dedicated study material set which are a set of uh, books basically which will include everything which is a part of the syllabus of rights examination you can have a look at these so it's a set of seven books uh, of these seven so if you are enrolling into the foundation program as i told you earlier the structure of a foundation course is designed in a way to meet the syllabus requirements of various government examinations however rights is something which uh, is an opening at this point of time but if you are enrolling into the complete foundation course you can also parallelly prepare be prepared for all these examinations as well including delhi development authority hppsc ppsc telangana public service commission isro examination so there are a lot of agencies which do conduct examinations on a regular basis for architects and planners so you you will be prepared for these uh, the prob the point to be considered is whenever there's an official notification for any requirement test you tend to have an average of two to three months before the exam date and that's not always sufficient to completely prepare so if you are prepared already you can revise in those two to three months so that's the idea of a foundation course so you can enroll into a foundation course where you will have the test series dedicated exams for the uh, mock test for rights post as well with the uh, study material set which includes a set of seven books in hard copy these books will be delivered to you after the lectures you can go through this study material given in the study material set for your self preparation so that's uh, something which we provide from our end so if you're planning for this requirement if you're planning for this particular post at rights make sure you contact us the contact number is available uh, in the description of this video you can also contact us uh, or whatsapp us call us and get the details of the course where you can enroll into to stay prepared for this post uh, for this requirement test uh, examination at rights thank you